Hey guys, we are back and we are actually in the same field. And I have another wild edible here today for you. And it is the ox eye daisy. It's got some flies on it. They love it. The, fly, the leaves on this one aren't the greatest, but you can see they're kind of serrated shaped and pretty small. So again, pretty easy to identify this one, but I didn't, bet you didn't know about the daisy. There are quite a few more growing here in the field. Scattered about. Along with that red clover over there. But I bet you didn't know about the daisy, is that it is edible. And I have personally never tried it, so I can't say how delicious it is or not, but uh, maybe one day I will try it. And just remember with wild edibles, um, even though it says that it's edible, um, everybody is different and the body reacts to it differently, so just consume it in small amounts, wait 24 hours, and see how your body reacts. If you're okay, then you know you can continue to eat that plant. So, this is the oxide daisy, as I said before, it is a perennial plant in the Compastia family that looks like several flowers in the Aster family. It is often confused with the ornamental Shaster daisy, which is, which is also edible, so that is okay, which is a taller plant with larger flowers that, and a tooth whole leaf. The oxi daisy leaf is quite different from the shasta with deep lobes, as you can see in those. There are many white daisies that have introduced from Eurasia as ornamental and herbal plants. However, the oxi daisy has larger flower heads. Ooh, it's hot. I don't know how many more of these videos I can do today. <laughs> Gotta get <clears throat> go jump in the lake after this one drink some nice cold clover iced tea um, so some distinguishing features of the daisy in general daisies are characterized by long smooth central stem that terminates in in a single flower head the star-shaped flower head has center composed of yellow disc florets surrounded by ray florets with long white petals this is perhaps one of the most recognizable flowers in many countries flowers. So the daisy has a single flower measuring approximately 2.5 to 6.5 centimeters, uh, one inch to 2.6 inches across, surrounded by involi, involucral brackets, involucular brackets. Sorry, I have never seen that word before. It has white ray florets. The center disc florets are yellow tubular and very small. The oxide daisy has five stamens and a pistil of two fused carpels. These flowers bloom anywhere from May to September, depending on location. The leaves, the basal and lower leaves are often obscure with slender peticules. Pe wow, struggling today. While the middle to upper leaves are more oblong and usually clasps the stem, the leaf Marges, oh sorry, period. Leaf marges are coarsely dentate, and some of the alternate leaves are often pinnatipped towards the pinnatipped. I'm sorry, toward the base. The upper and lower surface of each leaf is pretty much hairless. Wow, sweating out here. Nice to make videos though. I like I like discussing this stuff. It's awesome. I love sharing sharing it with you guys too. Hopefully some of you find it interesting. Hmm. Weird noises coming out of the forest right now. Anyways, the height. The daisy grows between 30 and 90 centimeters tall. Uh, one to three inches. The stem is virtually hairless. One to three feet, my bad. My bad. Habitat. The oxide daisy prefers 
uh, low, fertile, low fertility of old fields and pastures that flourished as a weed in many locations such as meadows, people's lawns, and vacant lots tends to prefer well-drained soil and does not like shaded areas. It thrives in direct sunlight and can tolerate high winds. Where the soil has a lime deficiency, oxide daisies will grow to help replenish the lime. Ah, very, very cool. It is native to Europe and parts of Asia, including India and Far East, and was introduced to North America, Australia, and New Zealand. It also grows in South America and is, and in several African nations, such as Zimbabwe, Tanzania, Kenya, and South Africa. Get old parts, the leaves can be eaten raw or cooked, young spring shoots are finely chopped and added to salads and soups. Some people find this plant can be somewhat pungent and prefer it cooked. Keep that in mind. The root can be consumed raw and the flowers can be tossed into a salad or pickled. Very interesting. Young plants are more desirable, so also keep that in mind. So some other names for this plant is the moon daisy and some similar plants are the shasta daisy and the common daisy. And this one doesn't have too many recipes, just one in fact. Um, the spicy pickled day dailies and day day lilies and daisies. Oh, day lilies. There you go. Spicy pickled day lilies and daisies. So I guess you could do one or the other if you wanted to as well. So that is it for this one, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, here's a couple more shots of the daisy. Oh man, these beetles, whatever they are, they're loving this thing. Look at that. Alright guys, have a great day and we will be back soon. Hope you enjoyed.